I don't want to go back down there. It's dark and scary. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Pikmin. Last time, we returned back to the Force Naval yet again, this time with a little bit more progress as we managed to snag three additional ship parts. Today, we're going to be heading back to the Force Naval yet again. I know, I'm pretty sure you're getting sick and tired of me going back to the Force Naval and the Force of Hope the past couple times saying you'd like a nice change of scenery, but I promise, hopefully, this will be the last time we revisit the Force Naval. Unless I decide to just go back just to spite you all. I mean, to be fair, I can't get enough of that acoustic guitar, so I'd just come back down here just to listen to the music. Alrighty. Well, our ship part is already sitting right outside of base camp, so for the time being, what I want to do... Actually, no. Cancel that for a moment, and we're going to pull out around 35 yellows. Yeah, it's a pretty big number for yellow Pikmin, but bear with me. I already have a plan to what to do with them. So for the time being, you guys get out right here, and we'll just dismiss you for the moment. And we'll get the remainder of our Pikmin being 65 reds. And this is basically going to be our group for today. Alright. Well, as always, going to have to start this adventure off by getting ourselves some nectar. So let's get you flowers working on this rock over here. And we'll get you guys working on those patches of grass. And hopefully we can get pretty lucky with some nectar. Because for the, what we're going to be doing, I definitely want to have my Pikmin at their fastest as well as their most useful. There's another patch of grass down there. I'll just wait and wait until we get down there to get it. And you guys completely found no nectar in the rocks. Great. All right. Well, I think there was a fourth patch, but that one bud drank all the nectar. All right. Uh, for a decent amount of flowers, not bad. Let's get you reds working on getting this back to the ship. Get you guys work on the grass down there. And looks like we just struck nectar. A lot of nectar, actually. Everybody all together, and get up, yellow, or red, flower, whatever your name is. Greg. Yeah, officially, any flower that I see tripping and falling flat on his face is now named Greg. Why Greg specifically? Well, it just feels like a very clumsy name. All right. Yellows, you're with me. We're going to go on an adventure, actually. Oh, hey, I made it back. Libra, my daughter gave this to me. My late return must have her very worried. I'm only like, what, 10 days late from returning back to my home and family? I'm sure they're fine. All right, well, let's get you guys back over here to our smorgasbord of bombs. And go wild, boys. Moo, moo. Come on, I want to hear those moos. Show me your war moves. Ooh, a lot of patches. That was. Why is that nectar all the way out there? Did they just a uh, honey wisp decide to fly by, but then get very clumsy and just drop a whole thing of nectar? <gasps> Ooh, keep forgetting that you don't really want to whistle when it comes to bomb Pikmin. Right, well, we're gonna avoid those things for right now. And in the meantime, we're going to just drop all these bombs onto the Black Rock Wall over here, so that way we can have an easy shortcut for our Pikmin. And one more should do it. Two more should do it. There we go. Right. 
shortcut activated. Let's get the remainder of... Okay. We're going for ordnance disposal here, so let's get you guys out of the blast zone. And you guys didn't drop your bombs this time. What the hell? Alright, fine. Well, at least I know a sure... Alright, you know what? Let's just drop you guys over right here and just open up this. Run it. All right, there we go. All right, oh, a couple shortcuts made. Not bad at all. Let's just get you guys down here with the rest of the battalion. And we'll just go this way. Hopefully not get ambushed by the sheer wigs. Reds as well. It looks like a majority of my reds are. Yeah, okay, no, a fair decent amount of them are still flat uh, leaves. Alright, boys. Drink up. It really feels like every time I uh, put Pikmin, uh, Pikmin onto nectar patches, then less and less get their fill. Alright. Well, let's take care of these guys, because you're going to harass my Pikmin as we carry back the next ship part. I hate that you can't save a Pikmin from those things once the, uh, a sheer... Uh, a sheer wig or sheer grub uh, snatch onto them. Alright, boys. All together now, let's take care of the Wally Wog over here. Oh, boy. Swarm him! Swarm him! Don't let him lift off! Nice. Way to go, gents. And down here, we have a bit of a boss fight. Oh my god, more sugar grubs. Alright. Introducing the Puff Stool. This is a bit of a... I guess you could say more of a mini boss fight than an actual boss fight. This guy, completely docile. Won't do anything unless you attack him. He, he, he'll waddle away, but that's about it. So what you want to do is you want to attack, have your Pikmin attack him. He's going to get very clumsy and jump and fall over, and you just want to throw your Pikmin onto him, but I kind of messed that up, so we're going to just run away for a moment. Because once he inevitably gets back up... He shoots out his spores, and any Pikmin caught underneath it will undergo a transformation that will turn them into Mushroom Pikmin. There we go. Okay, here. Much better angle. What you want to do is hit his bum once again. Come on, nice. Way to go, guys. You did a good job. Alright, I don't think we lost any Pikmin today. I think the only Pikmin that we lost were to the Sheer Grubs and Sheer Wigs. I found my Apple Slice, also known as the Omega Stabilizer. It. I absolutely must have this piece if my battered ship is ever to fly straight again. It has steered me through countless deep space storms. That and it looks rather cool. Well, it's an apple slice, Olimar. It, it, it would have to look cool. Seriously, ask anybody who has played this game and they'll just say, yeah, that, that's just a slice of an apple that Olimar is passing off as a ship piece. All right. Well, while you guys worry, uh, carry that bag, you guys can carry back the puff stool to replenish your numbers from those sheer wigs and sheer grubs. And while you guys are carrying that piece back, I'm going to take our yellow battalion, and we're going to go and get into yet another boss fight. Because, much like the Force of Hope, this sort of has two boss fights, while I kind of consider the Armored Cannon Beetle to be the... De Actually, no, I kind of uh, consider the Snaggerts the uh, more de facto boss fight. What are you guys doing? Alright, fine, whatever. To each your own way. Just gonna head over here with our 35 yellows. Zoom the camera out just a little bit because staying over here. Maybe. Oh, there it is! Jeez, that actually kind of scared me a bit. Introducing Beady Lawn Legs, the boss of the Forest Naval. You definitely want to focus on small groups of Pikmin for this guy because he can be quite devastating for the larger groups. You can run uh, reds against him. What you want to do is you want to attack his bulbous core. 
And thank you, Reds, for interrupting my boss fight explanation. I've returned the apple slice. This is the dolphin's fin. It is a little beaten up, but it should still function. I've made great strides in repairing the dolphin. With this, I shouldn't I should be able to fly again, even if I don't recover all 30 parts. Now I've recovered 18 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 11 more, we'll be able to can spread our search. Ugh, God, we just lost a couple of yellows. So what he's going to do is he just stomps all over the place, and that, that will kill your Pikmin. There have been multiple times where people have run in here with an entire army of around 100 Pikmin, only for him to uh, drop in and kill half of them before the fight even starts. Stomp around a little bit. He'll shake off any Pikmin that are attacking his legs. What you want to do is just have your Pikmin attack the core and be very careful. Just keep focusing on that core, focus on the core. Pretty good, boys. Lost a couple of you, but uh, mitigated numbers. Ugh. Of course, I say mitigated numbers, and then I lose a couple more Pikmin. This is why I would say this is actually a boss fight I would prefer to use yellows for because you don't have to worry about him, waiting for him to just drop down. You can actually just throw uh, them up when he's stomping around and stuff. And the safest spot next to him is definitely just right underneath him because that way you don't have to worry about his legs crushing you. There we go. I like the fact that he opens up like a party ball once you defeat him. The guard satellite! Deep space is filled with dangers. This automated satellite does its part to help guard both me and my spaceship. I'll sleep better at night knowing that this little satellite is back on duty. Because it did such a good job warning me about the impending asteroid that was about ready to hit me. Alright, well, lost some Pikmin numbers, but honestly... We, we, we beat a boss fight, so I can't really say I'm that uh, broken up about him. Yeah, that's why I want to shout at you guys. Wow, really? You died? Oh Alright, come on, get that out of there. And you know what? I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to get my reds over here to carry that back. For the time being, uh, I guess you guys can work on the Peliposies over here and just bring back what you want. Yellow, go away. I don't need you right now. Unless you want to burn up in a fiery death. Alright, you guys, carry that back. You can just carry back whatever pellets are over here. There we go. And for the time being, since that is the last ship part here in the Force Naval, we can just focus on up in our Pikmin numbers. I guess we could probably bring back the Wally Wog and the Sheer Grubs and Wig over here. And the pellet. Come on, guys. Don't be discouraged. Here. Carry this horrifying abomination back. And you can take that back as well. There we go. Just have it floating right next to our ship. This is protected me from space pirates many, many times. I now recover 19 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 10 more, we'll be able to expand our search. If I remember reading something right, I think the universe of Pikmin takes place in the same universe as Metroid. I might be 100% wrong on this, and if so, then you can feel free to correct me in the comments. But if so, then that kind of raises the question of, did Olimar uh, deal with uh, Samus' space pirates if that description of the guard satellite is anything to go by? Because I thought I remember reading somewhere that Pikmin and Metroid take place in the same universe. Let's 
just start plucking you guys out. It looks like I'm not going to have enough time to get the remaining shear grubs that were down by where the pup still was. But I guess we could probably get the two Pelopozies over there. Alright, there we go. Alright, Mollywog's coming in, so are the shear grubs. Let's carry that back. Get that back to base. There's one sitting out there, but I think that's just one carrying a share grub back. Oh, yeah. It's carrying a share wig. Uh, you might want to double time it, buddy. Or you're going to get left behind like the other, that one guy. Like Phil. Poor Phil. But then again, he was just sitting on top of that little plateau over there and was just being lazy. So his death was his own fault, to be honest. Alright, there we go. All Pikmin accounted for, all ship parts acquired, and hopefully not in the double digits of Pikmin deaths. I think we might have lost maybe like eight or nine Pikmin today, but nowhere near as bad as it's been for the past couple of days, which I'm all for. Screw you, Wally Wog. We're never coming back. Your family's all dead. Ten days since impact. Hope has begun to well up within me for the dolphin's repair and my own chances of a reunion with my dear family. Tomorrow, I shall go forth with a new attitude and continue my exploration in a different region. I hope that fortune will smile upon me. Ugh. Still pretty bad in terms of Pikmin that we lost in battle, but hey, still nobody, nobody left behind, which I'm all for. Those red numbers, though, woo. And our greatest losses were the yellows, but that was during the Beady Long Legs fight. Oh well. We never have to come back to the Force Naval, so we don't really have to worry about losing any more Pikmin to such BS down there, which I'm all for. Instead, I have to worry about losing Pikmin to all new kinds of BS, because next time on Pikmin, we're going to be heading off to the distant spring to look for the last set of ship parts. See you guys next time. Later.